Jody King of Love and the Outcome is a very familiar voice on 88.3 WAFJ. And now she is also an author. She's written a book called You Got This, which is also the name of one of their songs. And she joins us this morning. Hey, Jody, thanks so much for chatting with us. Hey, I'm so happy to. Thanks for having me. How in the world did you find time to write a book? Because you're busy being a <laughs> wife and a mom and singing songs and writing songs. I mean, this is one more thing. You know what? It's sort of a dream that unfolded step by step. And I find that's the way God does stuff, right? It would be super overwhelming just to be like, okay, you know, time to write an entire book. But instead, I just sort of felt God whispering to me new revelation when I was over my head. Um, And instead of scripture just being something I read and kind of moved on with my day, it became the essential promise that shifted my perspective. Um, Because I think when I first started penning the book, I was on the road with a newborn. Ziggy was literally six weeks old and Milo was 18 months old. So I was completely over my head and I just needed more than, okay, I memorized this as a kid. I needed, how do I live this out today? And so I just started journaling. And as Holy Spirit revealed stuff to me, I just kept journaling. And I'd say stuff from stage, and Chris would just say, babe, I really think there's something here. Like, you cannot be the only person on the planet that needs, you know, almost a pivot point and doesn't maybe have four hours to do it, but could do like a 10-minute page-by-page devotional. So I thought, you know what? I better be faithful with, with what I feel God calling me to. And, and now we're here, and the book is out. So is that a bit of a challenge for you, even just setting aside those 10 minutes here and there? Because you have two little boys. You're a boy mom. And so you have a four-year-old and a two-year-old, right? I do. They are sitting beside me eating. And I'm hoping that's going to be what works, (laughs) that we get to do this interview without a lot of interruption. But yeah, absolutely. Life is um, in a really busy season. But it's funny, I needed to learn how to meet with the Lord in a new way. Do you ever find yourself there? Maybe listeners find themselves there in the middle of this pandemic. Like the way that you previously maybe heard from the Lord or connected with the Father is just feeling a little stale or mechanical, you know, and you just need a little bit of a shift. So for me, I had been spoiled. I'd been able to do an hour or two like devotionals on the tour bus before I had kids. It was so sweet. And it's beautiful to be able to lean on some of that, but I'm not in that season. And 10 minutes, exactly like you said, was, man, if I got that in, I was doing good. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You mentioned this book is a guide to ditching perfect. You've written this for women. That is a standard that a lot of women feel like they have to live up to perfection. Why is that the case? I think we just do it to ourselves in every area, but all of a sudden you're a mom and you're going, whoa, like this is my responsibility to make sure that these kids are good kids. And, you know, I was on the road, so it was a lot of my parenting happened in public. So it added this extra layer um, of pressure that I was putting on myself until I just kind of came to the end of myself and went, man, I think if I get up on stage in my pajamas, God will still work just as powerfully as if I got up in my fancy suit. Like, whoa, wait a second. Perfection's not where it's at. In fact, I think my faking this perfection thing is actually preventing people from seeing Jesus. And that was a crazy revelation for me to have. And it happened in real time on the road. So yeah, I'm kind of, it's a daily thing. Like, cause I still wake up in the morning and think, okay, how can I just do everything right today, you know, but it's really in my doing things wrong that I meet the Lord. (laughs) You know, I just love following you on Instagram because you're just so honest and real and it's so fun to see your family and what you're up to. But uh, there's been several times when I've noticed um, you've talked about wearing skinny jeans, uh, wearing bathing suits, and it's just not the same after you have two kids, right, girl? Oh, man, I threw those away so fast. (laughs) (laughs) I I was like, this is not helping my state of mind. And there's some practical ways that we can live out our faith. And one of those is throwing away those skinny jeans. And they were just totally throwing (laughs) off my groove. So, yeah, they're gone. They're going to resurface, you know, because I want to be able to age gracefully. I don't want young girls to look at me and go, whoa, like, she's got to be 10 years older than me, but she looks younger than me. Like, 
there's some strange things about growing up in this world right now. And there's always been strange things. But as a female, I think that it's good for us to be courageously ourselves and not always be hiding under a million filters. And, oh, I had a baby, so I'm not going to wear a bikini because my body doesn't look like I used to. No, your body just did what it was supposed to. Mm -hmm. And it looks different. So that's okay. That song we just heard, Moving On, is also the name of one of the devotionals in the book. And Jody, I'm wondering, how did you get to a place in your life where you could truly leave the guilt and shame behind and say, I'm moving on? Mm. Well, it was when I felt most stuck. And I I really am not good at staying in one place. I'm a go-getter, a goal setter. And I really felt, Chris and I both did about a year ago, just in the middle of a stuck season. And I was really wrestling with the Lord like I do, like just real talk, you know? And I was like, I hate being here, Lord. Why am I stuck? And he said, you know what? You're never stuck because I'm still moving. Mm. Even when you feel stuck, I'm still moving. And I had never considered that before. Yeah. There are so many verses, right, that talk about resting while he works and that he's at work behind the scenes, moving the puzzle pieces of our life in a place we just don't see it all. So that was actually a big catalyst for the book um, because I thought, man, how many of us right now feel stuck? But guess what? It's a mindset shift. It's not even necessarily circumstantial. That's a good perspective. Jody King of Love and the Outcome has written her first book called You Got This. It's a devotional, a guide to ditching perfect and showing up to your real life. And I imagine that this is available wherever books are sold. You got it. It just went up on Amazon and um, we actually made our own store, which we've never done. And my handsome husband is very good at all the behind the scenes things so he's currently shipping books so you can uh, actually i think i'm going to get this right he'll look at me and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down i think it's i am jody king dot shop and you can go grab it there awesome well hey thanks for taking a few minutes to share about your book with us we so much appreciate you guys and your ministry through music and look forward to seeing now this book be a benefit to so many people Thank you so much. I love chatting with you.